Good morning survivors and welcome to day 39 and it is going to be a day of some construction. I want to do a little bit more on my roof so that's pretty much the plan for the very immediate future. Um, I also need to work towards a crucible because I'm going to start needing a lot more forged, forged steel. I still can't say it. A lot more forged steel. I'm just going to call it steel from now on. A lot more steel to, to make my uh, blade traps. Uh, I need another engine, at least another two as soon as possible to power them. Um, so that's what we're looking at. Anyway, I'm going to get on with some building and we shall see what happens after that. I'm a little low on wood, so in the interest of sustainability, I'm just going to harvest these oak trees that I planted and then replant them. Right, I've just rocked myself up another forge uh, because I want to get concrete production really, really going. And the best way to do that is to have two forges. I will need to make another cement mixer as well. Um, but that will do for now. Uh, wondering whether to have both cement mixers right in the corner, actually. Ah, it doesn't matter. I can rearrange it as needed. So yeah, the, what I want to do is start making my roof area look a lot nicer. Um, and that involves doing some farming as well. So let's just harvest all this lot first. I just realised I've been trying to smelt that last bit of stone into the forge. And it's hit capacity. That's why it's not. <laughs> That's why it's not accepting any more stone. I thought something was a bit iffy. Never mind. Right. I think I did always traditionally do... 3,000 stone at a time split into two forges so we will sort that out I need a bellows and an anvil for this one which I'm going to make in a minute ah, I put too much stone in that one it doesn't matter I'll even it up as soon as I can so um, what I do now is get one of those not two obviously I need some of that what else do you need for cement my brain's not working um, concrete mix. Ah, no. I'm just thinking cement production. Sorry, I'm getting very confused. Right. This is where I'm sure if I do it right. It's either 52 or 56. I'm going to risk 52. I think, I'm sure it's 52. 26 per um per forge. Oh, I've not made an anvil and a bellows yet. Right, bear with me. So, I don't need crucibles in this forge or that forge. These are strictly for um, I might move that. But it won't let me with the things inside it, will it? Not smelted any stone into it yet. It doesn't matter. I'll just leave it there for now. I'm waffling. Right. So, 1500 stone in each slot. 26 coal. And we craft um, cement. Why is it not letting me? Oh, because because I've not got any in that one yet. I've got it in this one. So I'll get I'll set that one going, and then by the time this cycle has finished, I'll have the same amount of stone in each one, and I'll be able to get two lots of cement going at once. That's it. That's how I do it. Took a little bit to remember. Got no cement ready other than that. Oh my god, I had a bloody spare anvil. What a dumbass. Never mind. Right, let's go do some planting very quickly. So whilst I was waiting for that unnecessary anvil to uh, craft, I went and got enough cotton. Why did I make... Oh, I made too many now. Never mind. will be fine next time. So I can start producing cotton in my farm plot as well. We'll get that going. So we've got cotton, chrysanthemums, potatoes, corn and super corn all up and running in the roof garden. Right, so the next little mission I need to do is... Uh, I do need more brass. But in the meantime, 
I'm going to go and grab a little chunk of lead, I think. Obviously, I need to keep stock keep stocking up with the gas cans. I'm just going to run over to my little lead mine and... No, I'm not. Change my mind. Ignore that. Let's do a little work on the roof. I want to improve it. This is a prime example right here of me not utilising the favourites menu and spending ages hunting through the shapes menu looking for a particular shape. I, I, I am my own worst enemy sometimes, I'll be the first to admit that. And even after this, I still didn't add it to the favourites menu, and I really should. But, you know, there we go. Right, it's time to create a walkway around the edge. Um, I, I, I did this last time, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this design 100% yet. We'll, we'll see what happens. I did go through various iterations of this roof design previously, uh, probably through Alpha 18, 19, maybe 20. Um, I think one time I actually built a giant runway off the edge of the base to launch the gyrocopter from, but didn't really like it. So I kind of just settled into this in uh, in Alpha 21. I'm just trying to recreate it as best as I can in version 1.0, at least before the reset happens for 1.1. Right, sorry about that. I've been hunting for an old video or screenshot of how I did my rooftop in the olden days. And I can't find one. Not a proper one anyway. So... I'm just going to have to wing it for now and hope for the best. And again, just hunting through that shapes menu for shapes I'd literally looked at a minute ago. I, I'm not sure if I did, to be honest, for the plates. Um, and as you're going to see shortly, <laughs> this was utter guesswork because I couldn't remember exactly how I'd done it the last time I uh, I designed this, this roof area. The, the bit that I'm designing now is actually going to be... Uh, decking is just for is for strictly for decorational purposes only. Eventually, I'll put some camping chairs up there and a picnic table, just somewhere to, uh, you know, at least look as though you can chill out and look over the over the woods at the lake. Um, it is literally it serves no purpose. It's entirely for aesthetic purposes only. What I will do once I get there is I'll have some solar panels mounted along the edge of the decking. Um, and they will be south-facing, because that's how anal I am, even though it probably makes zero difference in the game. Uh, I don't actually know that for a fact. I should possibly check that, possibly look into it at some point. But, you know, me being me, I had to have the solar panels south-facing, which is why the decking is to the north, looking out over the trees towards the lake. Just need to scrounge some camping chairs now to finish it. Right, after having consulted my screenshots, I've realised that I've been doing this wrong, so we will sort that out. Yeah, it did take quite a bit of hunting through um, a couple of old videos I'd got just to find the one bit where there's five seconds of me walking around uh, my Alpha 21 rooftop design. Um, just just to check where, you know, the ladder placement and the, and the strut placement, the column placement. The columns probably aren't even needed on the walkway around the perimeter. And I, I might even remove them if I don't like the look, but it always worked before on the, on the previous build, so I probably will keep them like that. Um, I realised I'd put the, the, the columns on the deck in too close to the edge. I didn't want them right on the edge. I want them tucked underneath. And then it was just a matter of uh, rectifying where all the steps went to lead, lead up onto the walkway. The walkway is strictly for jumping up to snipe people from a distance it doesn't get used very often or at least it traditionally didn't um but it is you know it's good for for just picking off the odd one here and there or maybe spotting a deer at night and, and felling it when i'm running a bit low on meat again these 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 curved plates they took some hunting for um but they really do just finish it off nicely that's it that's the shape we're looking for got it right let's get it upgraded as far as the upgrading goes for this, I will only upgrade it to wood. There is no point upgrading it up to uh, even cobblestone, especially not concrete and steel, just because there's no point adding the extra weight. It doesn't need it. It's decorative only. Um, it is just defence, really. Uh, it does not need to be solid. Beautiful. Sniper walkway is complete. I just need some security on it to uh, stop me falling off, basically. But that is what we're looking for on my roof. Loving that. And yeah, finally, I, I couldn't leave it. I just couldn't leave it with the bog standard wood design. I have to use this. Uh, oh, I can't remember what the name of the oak pattern is, but it looks great. Ah, I've run out of paint. I'm not surprised after doing that. But that, it's lovely. Loving it.
So I need to whip up some more paint after that little lot. And I also need to make some metal fences. What do we need for that? So I've got to the point now where, because I've got concrete as well, I'm cooking up a load of paint. Um, because the base is going to be getting painted very soon. Um, I'll probably paint the lower region once that's all been upgraded to concrete, but I'm happy to paint the upper region now and just repaint it as we go, just so it's looking good and how I want it. Um, so in the meantime, just pop back upstairs and finish off painting my nice oak uh, sniper platform. It's a great little feature just being able to paint all the surfaces in one go and set it to paint roller instead of brush to just cover maximum area. There we go, looking good. You've got to love a nice oak finish. Whilst I'm here, oh, hopefully it won't do those because they're a different surface. Let's just have a quick look. Ah, beautiful. There we go. Brick pavers. Looks loads better. In that case, uh, since I noticed I'm very low on iron, I'm going to go grab some iron very quickly. Right, that should do for the immediate task at hand. I uh, just need to construct a ladder so I can get out. So now we've got all that painting and everything done, we're going to do a touch more upgrading down below. Uh, not without cobblestone, we're not. Yeah, it's another very common error of mine. I go to do a load of upgrading and I quite often forget the material needed to repair the current block before upgrading it. So, you know, a little handy tip there. Don't do that one. Don't do that one. Um, just a point of interest, I, I kind of decided to work my way around all the spikes, even though it can be difficult getting to uh, get into the block underneath to upgrade. But it is possible, as you can see, I'm managing to do it. I just wanted to get the whole sort of floor upgraded to concrete and secured and use as much of the concrete up as I could. It's, it's only three days till Horde Night now, so why not get the whole floor as strong as possible before it gets hit by zombies? Awesome. That's most of the bottom layer done. Upgraded to concrete. Really happy with that. Coming along nicely. It'll look even better when it's all painted. So, the next thing to do is hit the basement and do some mining in a second. Right, so I've got... Oh, I just need to... Ah, no. I'll wait until that's finished, actually. Turn that one off. I'll leave that till it's done and then I'll sort those two out. That's okay. Now, I've got a load of concrete mix going. The fundamental problem I've got is I was going to go into the basement and start the next stage of the basement development. However, I haven't got enough wood <laughs> to make enough building blocks to do it, but I will make a start, so we'll go and do that right now. I did decide, after all, just to, just to paint these platforms now rather than wait till I upgrade them to steel, just because... They do look utterly rubbish as cobblestone. Uh, I quite like that shiny metal. I might redo them at that. I didn't settle on that in the end, as you'll see in a minute. Um, I couldn't seem to find the shade I used to use, so I'll have to try and hunt that out and repaint them, but I'll, I'll explain in a second why I just wanted it doing so. Uh, that's not the ideal metal colour. I just wanted to get it not looking like cobblestone for now. I'll find a better colour later on. That is an improvement, but it's still not great. But the platform itself looks cool. Works really well like that. Anyway, time to do some goddamn digging. It's th the biggest problem with doing these <laughs> pure build episodes is just having to improvise voiceovers and <laughs> constantly think of things to say. It should be fairly obvious now that this is an underground garage. Um, basically what I'm constructing now is the south exit, entrance stroke exit. It will take some doing, and you'll see the reason for that once it's complete. It will make a lot of sense, but to be honest, I, I, I do have to be careful how I do it because of, of how the zombies spawn, and I'm not sure how it's going to work in version 1 yet, so we'll have to see what happens. 
Right, that's the first stage of the next stage of the basement area underway. Uh, we will be working on that over the next week or so. Hopefully it won't take that long to complete. Um, we'll just have to see how we get along. Let's just see if I've got time quickly. Oh, I only made 42. What a dum-dum. Ah, every time. I've got to set those going again. Oh, well. I'll leave them in there then and I'll do it tomorrow. I'll add a couple of spares. That's all right. I will do that the following day. What I'm also going to do on day 40 in the next episode, episode 40, I'm going to go and clear another POI or two because... I really need to be working towards getting a crucible or being able to afford to buy or get as a quest, re quest reward some forged steel. I said I was just going to call it steel from now on. Get some steel um, as we will need a chunk of it to make my blade traps. I also uh, will be on a mission for an engine. Oh, look at me decking. It looks beautiful with that oak on it. Um, a mission for an engine and whatever else we can get as a nice reward so with that in mind thank you very much for watching it's very much appreciated if you like what you've seen please feel free to hit the subscribe button hit the like button turn on bell notifications drop me a comment and share the video on your social medias thank you very much for watching and goodbye